There's this douchebag named Cody Ko, and we are about to f his life up. <laughs> While everyone was talking about the season finale of the Tati, James, and Jeffrey beef on the internet, a whole new episode of YouTubers trying to cancel YouTubers with false claims came out, and it's by your one and only boy, Jake Paul. Except this isn't drama, this is downright tomfoolery. Now I'm not gonna list all the absolutely absurd things Jake Paul has done because we all know. Sorry for your lawn. Oh my god. So Jake obviously saw all of the absolute uncomprehensible attention the beauty guru community got with this whole whatever just happened. So I guess he wanted to try his hand at it. But just like everything he's tried to do since Disney, absolutely no one over the age of 12 is having it. I am about to confront like one of my biggest haters, 28 year old wannabe comedian, Cody Ko. You mean 28 year old actual comedian, Cody Ko, cause his podcast just won a streamy for best podcast, uh, him and Noel, of course. And also on tour doing a comedy show that sells out every venue. <laughs> anyway, or I saw this Cody Ko guy for the first time when he was working at full screen Which is like a YouTube community network as like a little uh, back-end tech developer <laughs> A little back-end tech developer by the time Cody was your age Not only was he at Duke University, but he developed his own app while you Dropped out of high school your junior year because your teachers never taught you how to buy a Lambo cash or how to use basic critical thinking skills. And now he just shits on people to become famous. Okay, first, what was that close up? <laughs> Who edited this? You wanna talk about crapping on people to get famous? I'm just gonna go ahead and preface and say that since I try to keep my videos brand friendly and PG, like the little saint that I am, which is probably why I don't have 2 million subscribers like Cody Ko, I'm going to bleep out things that I wouldn't normally say on this channel. I'm not YouTube's hero. I'm not here to like save the day and- I don't want to be YouTube's hero right now. Good. You're absolutely not. You've never been, you are not now, and you will never be YouTube's hero. That's Shane Dawson. It's consumed our generation, it's consumed our society, and I think it's largely in part to do with these negative trolls online who have 2.5 million subscribers. Yeah, Cody Ko is the reason there's so much negativity online, and you spend a whole video hating on Cody. You absolute buffoon! The reason I feel like I can like touch on this subject and it'd be completely fair is because Cody Ko has made probably like 10 videos now. I'ma stop you right there. You can't. You can't. Like if you just talked about his videos hating on you and not him as a whole person, then like maybe, but not really. And dozens of tweets talking shit about not only me, but my brother. I'm sorry, your brother? The guy that uh, filmed a dead body in a suicide forest, slept with your ex-girlfriend, and made multiple diss tracks about you. You're mad that Cody called that guy out. As like a podcast, YouTube kind of show where he interviews guests. And Cody Ko is going on to his barbershop guest podcast thingy today. And Jeff called me and was like, yo, I know you and Cody Ko have had beef in the past. I thought it'd be funny if you came out and you confronted Cody in person and got his reaction on camera. I'm sorry. Jeff, really? You grown man? You're gonna have this hooligan confront him for bullying. All right, I'm exposing YouTubers. Jeff is canceled. So some things have come to light since I filmed this particular moment in time, and I would appreciate it if you watch until the end of the video when I address this and how we all got just completely bamboozled. Thanks. And he kind of wanted to like have a voice uh, in this as well to try to like stop this type of from happening or just not to stop it from happening but just to like voice that it's not okay not to stop it from happening but just to say it's not okay we don't want to stop it <laughs> ah! i watched that one he's uh, dressed up as a minion i don't know who the f made that call who signed off on that who was like yeah dude for your first single ever for the it video you should definitely dress up as the thing that everybody in america hates most i i, I, can't, I can't imagine like being a human and having this much hatred inside like everyone on Twitter has already covered this part so thanks guys 
Uh, the point is, here's some examples of like the people he on the jokes he's made about people. Oh, please, please uh, it's just me that. not acceptable. This is Logan Paul with better hair. <laughs> <laughs> now that's magic. Oh, wait, what the f kind of M Night Shyamalan <laughs> ending was that? I'm not really sure if that's the right thing. And he's like, come on, just do it. It's not a big deal. Who the f do you want to date? I'll have my daily dose of vitamins and I'll make a couple of these health drinks. Kamu powder? Oh, dude, you're drinking cum powder? <laughs> just a ball of hatred? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> he cut out the best part. Oh, dude, you're drinking cum powder? Oh! Ew! Dude! What the fuck? Oh my gosh. This guy is 28 years old, like, sitting behind the computer making fun of, like, kids that are younger than him. I'm sorry. Kids that are younger than him? Let's look through Cody's That's Cringe series, right? Girl Defined. I'm pretty sure they're the same age, if not older than Cody. Vape Hotbox. Yes. Maddie was 18 at the time. Yeah, Maddie loved the video, thought it was funny, and he and Cody play Fortnite. And also, Maddie defended Cody after your video, Jake, so... Good going on that one. The video, you... Yeah, she's younger, but that was completely deserved. Epic morning routine. Some guy around the same age, maybe 25, but like, come on. The Ajit Pai video? Come on. You really want to stand up for Ajit Pai? All right, everybody, you heard it here first. Uh, Jake Paul is on the side of Ajit Pai and wants to take away internet neutrality. Literally none of them are children. Absolutely no one he's ever made fun of is a child. Well, he did make fun of a few children. Uh, it was you and your brother. If someone was watching this video and it was about them and they didn't have tough skin, that could seriously affect them. I will say I'm scared of Cody ever making it that's cringe about me but I know if he were to ever make a video about me that I deserved it. And I can only imagine the ripple effect that this has to his audience for them to be like in school and be like, like, oh, oh the, the, what the f is that? What's that backpack like? Am I having a stroke? What the heck did he just say? I'm just gonna fast forward anytime he like rambles incoherently, which is a good 50% of the video. He needs to like drag people down to, to make himself feel better to like push his career for uh, farther down the line. Push his career by bullying. You mean, uh, this video? But like, I do want to get a point across that like, that Cody, you like, you are a piece of That's true. I've heard stories of like, girls, again, crying and like, literally being so hurt by your videos that like, it's ruined their days or weeks even. What girls have been crying? Cody almost never goes after girls. So what, Lele Pons, was she the one crying about it? Oh, I'm so sorry that you're a millionaire and that you get so much money from all the views you get on YouTube and one YouTuber decided to make a video talking about how your content's not good and had valid critical reasons why. I'm just... What's up, man? Are you serious? Nice. I don't want to fight. Okay, so first, he storms in to come and confront Cody, and Cody's first reaction is a smile, offers a handshake, and Jake just completely ignores him. That was cold. Dare I say, a little savage. <laughs> Let's just take the video back. Uh, like a minute. I don't want to, like, violence isn't the answer. Like, it'll be like, hey, what up, bro? Like, I'm gonna fight you. Like, no. Didn't you literally box a rapper over some online beef? Did that happen? Jake came in, like, squared up. Just, he's about to do it to him. Do that again, do that again, do that again. Sit down. No, do it again. Come in, but, uh... Come in what? Nicer? Come in nicer, dude. You don't care. Right here we see our main man, our scumbag Jeff, who set this all up, realizing immediately, uh-oh, that's the face of a man who was looking forward to all the subscribers he was about to get for setting this up, and then immediately filled with regret. You cyber bullies kids, bro. Kids? You cyber bullies kids, 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 bro. I don't like that. Which kids? I don't like cyber bullies, and you're a cyber bully. He literally has never bullied kids, ever. And he asks, which kids? And Jake's, I'm so bullied. You're a boy. Answer the question, Jake. Which kids? I don't like boys. You're a boy. You're a cyber boy. I don't like that. But like, that, that shit that you do, like, you sitting in front of a camera, like, actually, like, can resonate into people's hearts, and like, that's not cool. I just don't like it. Uh -huh. Hey, <laughs> I had a great time at your party last week. <laughs> um. You slime ball. Screw you, Jeff. All of them ganging up on Cody like that, making him so uncomfortable, taking him completely off guard, making him feel like he's in a hostile situation. 
Ooh, if my boy Noel was there, praying to Noel right now, my short king, get in there and defend your mans. Hey, you gotta be able, you gotta be able to, you got, if you can dish jokes, you gotta be able to take them. If you can dish jokes, you gotta be able to take them. You didn't crack a single joke, my guy. You came in, ready to go, and then call him a bully over and over again. And Cody's taking it. He's just standing there like, is he for real? Are they for real? Is this happening? Oh man, I cannot wait to tell Noel about this. Sit down, Jake. You know what I'm saying? Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. That's Cody texting Noel right now. I, I don't want Jake to come in here and flex, bro. I didn't do shit. I was being nice. No. You weren't? Yeah, you, you have, uh, you're, you're hilarious, bro. Like, you're hilarious. That's not what anyone's debating. No one's debating you're funny. Really, Jake? Let's, again, take it back. 28-year-old wannabe comedian Cody Ko. Right. Talk about saying stuff behind a screen and then saying it in person. He, he, so homie immediately like tries to, you know, he smiles like, you know, he's he's definitely obviously nervous. He goes to he goes to shake my hand uh, because he's probably so caught off guard. No, Cody's a grown man who tried to shake your hand because he's being polite, you know, like a grown mature adult who doesn't make content like this <laughs> sorry for your lawn oh my god for children what you do have is a talent cody and i <laughs> challenge you bro to take that talent of like being funny oh uh, what what i'm sorry what did he say did he say talent 28 year old wannabe comedian who's not funny but just bullies what, ha what happened to that my guy is that um is that backtracking because the video didn't turn out how you wanted it to Dude, which kids, bro i don't like that which kids which kids like, like He's the de he's deflecting like who's deflecting in this scenario the person asking which kids have I bullied or the person not answering the questions being asked to him and just saying ah oh, you're a bully you're a bully the cyber bully so he's bull he's bully hey Jeff what's up my guy <laughs> going to that party later he's a bully let me just Google uh, what deflecting means yeah okay moving on uh, I'm sorry man like sorry for talking about you for 45 minutes online like it's all fun and games until it's not fun and games that was poetry robert frost who emily dickinson never heard of her william shakespeare is quaking so like into himself and like we all have different lines and like maybe he's just a sociopath jake you only know what the word sociopath means because of shane don't act like you know for a second don't act like you have any room to call anyone a sociopath besides maybe your brother all right i can't watch the video anymore um, what do we take away from this? Uh, we take away that Jake is just trying to start drama to stay relevant, so screw you. We know that Jeff set this up- It is 1.20 a.m. and I just finished exporting the completed video of my reaction to the Jake Paul incident, and I just found out that we all got schooled by my man Jeff. The myth, the legend, Jeff. I forgot your last name with your podcast, took all of us for a complete ride. This fool did all of this, had me hating him. I said some very mean things about him in my video, all to find out that it was all a ploy to screw with Jake Paul in the best way I can think. About two years ago, Jake asked me to join Team 10. He offered me a contract where I'd give 20% of my earnings to him for eight years. This was all one big manipulation to get a shout out from Jake Paul, and he took the bait. My friend Jeff has like a podcast, YouTube kind of show where he interviews guests. It worked out perfectly. Cody was never in danger. I got my security there on the couch. I got Reggie here that's actually an undercover cop posing as a 19 year old kid. And it just so happens my barber tools also work as weapons. There was never any danger. I did this all just as a big manipulation so I could get a shout out from Jake Paul for free. Thank you, Jake. And thank you, Cody. And I just, you, you got me. Thanks, Jeff. Now I gotta stay up till like three in the morning throwing this part into the video. Um, I'm sorry for the things I said. I was ill-informed and you only released your video like 30 minutes ago. So how was I supposed to know that you weren't a scumbag? Thank you for your service, man. I salute you and your team. God. <laughs> And last, we learned that we were all so excited to see what all of the top tier commentary YouTubers are gonna say. Jake does spark an interesting idea, however, of the YouTube commentary kings, the reigning men of commentary being 
Drew Gooden, Danny Gonzalez, Cody Ko, Noelle Miller, and Curtis Connor, all being bullies. I mean, here I am, just absolutely blazing a trail to success and leaving all of those guys in my dust. And none of them will acknowledge me. That is just preposterous. So here I am, cranking out this video as quickly as I can because I'm coming for that crown, all right? You guys can keep the title of king, I'll allow it, but I'm your queen. Please, just give me the, please, just give me the crown, please. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this because I sure had fun making it. One like equals one jewel in my future crown that I will wear as queen of commentary YouTube. Hit subscribe and that notification bell so you stay up to date on my rise to the throne, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I'm